Hello YouTube, here's another vacuum review from me. Uh, today, you probably saw this coming, I'm reviewing my Henry. The, probably the nicest Henry I have. Sorry for any background noise. This is from 2001. I wrote down the serial number and stuff even though it's missing its serial number. Because it came off once when I was moving so I wrote it all down. I think I've still got the serial number. I think I stuck it on the piece of paper with like sell tape over it. I'm not too sure, but wherever the piece of paper is now, it's haven't seen it in a while. So I've got all the tools you would have got with it brand new. Um, so we'll start off by looking at the tools. This floor tool did actually stop in mid two thousand and one. Uh, it it has its, it do have the I do have the original two pedaled one but I thought I'd use this one because I like it better Um, so it's got these suction channels lint strip it's got bristles at each bit not a squeegee Um, the crevice tool this is a generic one but it's exactly the same as what you would have got it's got a little square bit it's quite long good for getting into different crevices Got your dusting brush, lovely horse here. This one has become a bit stiff with time, because uh, I think this one is its original one. This I used to call this a square brush, which also has its square bit up there. Um, stiff nylon bristles. That's why, although this has been well used, I scrubbed the car with it. This is the only one I have that this bit doesn't slide off. The generic version of that has horsehair bristles, but they're a bit softer. Well, they're uh, actually probably the same. Adapter tool, I'm pretty sure you got an adapter tool, because if a 1989 pneumatic Edward had it, you probably know who's got the 1989 pneumatic cream and brown Edward. Then, I'm pretty sure this 2001 Henry would have a, an adapter. Got your hose, which is, I think it's like two points. Five meters. The original short cuff. This isn't the original one. The original one's on my Zaz's head. Uh, this one came off my 2002 Henry, which is now gone. It's got paint, paint splattered down it because it came out of builder's van. Although this cuff ends in quite good condition. <coughs> Bend, which isn't original. It's got that bit, but. Uh, apart from that but it's practically the same. Two tubes, again these aren't original, well one of them is. As you can see one of them is shorter. It's, it just depends on, I think there's a machine cuts them. Like cuts a bit of steel then pneumatic put the black top bit on it. It just depends however it's cut. Really it doesn't matter. So I'll build it up later. Just um, I'll move all these out of the way. And we'll focus on Mr. Henry himself, so not in terribly bad condition. Sticky tape marks there. Uh, just Henry. Not in the best of conditions. You can just see where the window light shines, you can see a lot of scratches. He turns up in good condition on camera. He, in real life you can see the, like a big scuff there, a little paint mark. Plug has been replaced as it went faulty, the old one, I think. Well, it's working now. Switch. It's not got that lovely snap one. And you that, that, when this Henry was made, they'd done that switch a long time ago. They changed it in 1995. Oh, that was uh, when I wrote that. Three years ago when I got this. Um, he used to be. Well, it was given to me, you probably know the story, but, um, yeah, he was my Henry up until when I got him a wee while later, my mum said it was better suck than the, what is now, garbage Henry, um, so this became my mum's, and I was always gutted at the fact that my granddad gave it to me to be my Henry, I'd always dreamed of having my own Henry. I did have access to use one, but this I did I have I did have a few vacuums at that point. Well, 
None really. All my one of my vacuums was given away, and the other one was chucked away. So, yeah. But now, because we've got the new vac in the house, the scenery's all mine again. Woohoo! Wheel caps, which came in autumn 2003, in cord according to Ultimate Vac Man. Um, under here, it's not got that strange Y shape. They don't do that Y shape anymore. It's all that shape, I think. It's the black dirt being pulled around on floors. A lot of its life, it's been pulled on hard floors. It's not really pulled on carpets. Ugh, so you've got your... I think it's nylon. No, it's thin tri -tics. Basically, a shower curtain material, according to Alex. This one was a, was a replacement, no. The other one, seal, was coming off. Original bag you would have got with it, this is like... And as you can see, like, this bucket is designed to have these old paper bags. You can see the mould for it. This bit of the paper bag goes in there. But yeah, these are... I actually quite like these bags. Just going to pull it out at the side. They're quite nice. It's nice and lightweight. Henry's are like built to last. I'll just put the clips in a second and I'll put it on its side. It's a little bit dusty. You can, if you see in the light, you can see where I've wiped it and where bits have been left behind. But yeah, it's more it's black dirt actually. I think it's carbon dust. Uh, there's the motor. Can't really see, but this is one of the cheaper ones. Uh, Alex, again, who made a video for me. I didn't ask it, but he proved my point. Um, I thought it was burning out because of the burning. But in memory, it's always done that since I got it. When I got it in like 2000 and late 2010, it was maybe about winter time. I got this. And he's been, he was probably my best friend. Yeah, he is my only true companion. Um, so I'll just try and build him up with one hand. Just so All the tubes start off like a that colour, then they go that colour with use and age. It's not the oldest of cleaners. Like, I have had a 2000 one, which had the exact same motor. Got it off eBay the day it arrived. I'd used it about five times, and during one use I was hoovering up the hallway on all the different rooms. Brrr, just started burning out. So I sold it on. I, this floor tool is actually off the 2000 one. But I, yeah, I sold it on. In an auction, not working. Oh, well, like sixteen pound for it. Nobody knew it wasn't working, so yeah. Hopefully, this one doesn't blow up. And yeah, I estimated I've still got another year of its life. Oh, it didn't fall off. So while I'm on it, um, I suppose you want to see it. That dust and brush keeps falling off. I suppose I'll make a part two to this review. But yeah, in reviews you always say, yeah, I love this hoover. Yeah, this, these hoovers are, like, quality. Um, I prefer one of these over anything, really. I don't see why people prefer these clunky Dysons over one of these cute vacuum cleaners. Mind you, uh, we all, we've all got the ball Dysons now. They're not so clunky, but people still like Henry's. I'll just give you one last look around. It has got the white dot, which is if you're really tall, well, if you're over the height of the cleaner. Now, look, I'm aware of it as a switch. If you notice, I've probably said this before, this white dot is in line with the switch. It's just like, I know someone who is really tall. Yeah, so it's probably handy for him. He's never used this cleaner. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and bye. Um, yeah, look out for the part two. I might not actually make it today when I'm bothered. So again, thank you for watching.